Hello everyone and welcome back to Rainy Day Reactions with Chris and Mia. Today we're going to be reacting to Better Call Saul Season 2 Episode 7 and it's called Inflatable. But first, what happened in the last episode? Jimmy did a thing with Kim. Mm -hmm. After she got a little frustrated with Hamlin. Yeah. And I think she's thinking about leaving. But I don't know if she actually will. Mm-hmm. I was, I don't know, when the last, when we watched the last episode, I thought maybe she got it out of her system, but I wonder if it's still going to be, like, popping in her head, the offer. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of interested, I would be interested to see if, like, how she would do um, Somewhere. actually making a, a change. Yeah, me too. Um, let's see, what else? Mike made the deal with Hector. We'll see what happens with that, hopefully. Yeah, I think that's done for now, at yeah. least. You think he'll go to jail? Like, actual? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the fact that he's an ex-cop, having a weapon kind of makes sense. But then again, who knows if they even look at things like that. Mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. Where are they in New Mexico? I don't know what gun laws New Mexico has right now, uh, at that time. I almost said right now. <laughs> <laughs> and if they would even... Would they even be really bothered if I'm assuming it had the, I don't know, what do you call it? The, like the numbers, the serial, serial number. numbers, like most likely they're like filed down and all oh, kinds of stuff. Yeah. So that actually does make a difference. You know, I, I just don't know how forgiving they would be for Mike, but also maybe because he is a cop, maybe he would be held to a higher standard. Yeah. But then again, we don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all we had going on last episode. And um, Jimmy being Jimmy. Oh Yeah. Jimmy being Jimmy. But yeah, I'm ready to get started. Okay. Are you? Yeah. All right, let's go. Jimmy? Jimmy. How's we've been going? <laughs> going good, Pop. <laughs> oh, God. That's that's just... Uh, I know. That's so much, like, right? over-explaining. Mm -hmm. Tried the ignition, just nothing. Not firing. So, if you can help me, I would be so grateful. Dad, come here. <laughs> come here. <laughs> Is he going to help him out? It's a ripoff, just like that bum from last week. Jimmy. Just Every like that bum from last that week. This is the spot to come for an easy handout. He probably doesn't even have a son. He's conning you. Sorry to bother you folks. I'm going to get out of here. I'm, I'm going to... No, 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 no. Dad. No, no bother. Come on, no. Here. How much for a car in the cools? Four bucks. Yeah, give me a garden. Money first. Give me two gardens. There are wolves and sheep in this world, kid. Figure out which one you're gonna be. Did we just leave? Sir! Oh my god. His dad was a sucker. The gun wasn't Salamanca's, that's all I can tell you. You told us it was. You said Salamanca pulled it and pointed it at you. Look, there was only one set of prints on the gun. Salamanca's. Who knows, maybe it uh, fell from a passing bird's beak and Mr. Salamanca caught it and tried to throw it away. I mean, the possibilities <laughs> are endless. Did Salamanca threaten you, Mr. Mantron? Did he threaten you or pay you off? Whoa, okay, that's it, we're done. You're doing the right thing. The Salamanca character. Maniac, and you're telling me this why? Don't be too tough on yourself. It's interesting how he didn't claim that it was his though. When are you gonna get that offer letter? I'm guessing next Thursday after my interview with the partners. She's going for it. Omar, would you be so kind as to take a letter for me? Dearest Clifford, my heart is heavy as, you know, it sounds like a medical condition. <laughs> Let's go with, um, it is with a heavy heart that I tender my resignation to Davis and Maine. That was fast. These have been uh, some of the most professionally satisfying days of my life. Days. <laughs> Omar's like, I don't think you want to do this. Didn't realize how unhappy you were here. Not unhappy, per se. More like, not happy. <laughs> <laughs> and the bonus? Oh. 
The bonus is a done deal. It's, they already cut me the check. I get to keep the bonus. Not if you quit. Before oh, certain shit. term, I think yours is a year, you have to pay the money back. Yeah, check the fine print. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. He's saving his ass. Hell uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's right. Uh, yeah. There. That whole uh, letter of resignation thing that I didn't mean that. It's Don't so repeat awkward. what I said to anyone. You like it here, right? I love it. <laughs> Call it a momentary lapse of reason. He's like, damn it, I'm stuck in this inflatable tube man face for a year. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he knows what to do. It looks like his, you know, mm -hmm. something cleared up. Jimmy! Oh my god. <gasps> oh, I didn't. Oh. He's gonna try to get fired, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. Are you serious? That's beats too. Oh my god. It's been brought to my attention that we have an ongoing situation in the washroom. Someone is not flushing. And we're not talking about a number one. Yes, thank you, Aaron. <laughs> uh, Cliff, it was me. Every time you flush a toilet, you waste a gallon of water. The low flow toilets, Jimmy. From now on, flush. <laughs> low flow, that's good. Oh no, for the office. Is that his way to get out of it? Jimmy, what's going right, on Right, like you there? said? Yeah. Uh, Jimmy. Oh, you can hear this through the door? I didn't realize, I'm sorry. I gotta say, you're right. I mean, it really helps with stress. Enough, put that down. Now, I want you in my office. You're fired. It's a bagpipe since they're not flushing in this, this optical migraine you call a business suit. Optical about... migraine? <laughs> but you can't just up and quit and expect to keep your bonus. And if I fire you for cause, like I should have done for the TV commercial, again, no bonus. However, if I fire you not for cause, but for being an all around jackass, yeah, I could fight you on this, but you're not worth my time. I'd rather just have you gone. Tell me, how exactly did I mistreat you? What did I do to deserve this kind of behavior? We gave you opportunities, encouraged you to excel. We got you a yeah. car, an apartment. Hell, that Everything. Coco Bolo desk. Do you see a desk like that in here? I'm just a square peg. How much was the desk? $7,000. Jesus. I'll write you a check. Hey, Cliff, for what it's worth, I think you're a good guy. For what it's worth, I think you're an asshole. He's not wrong. <laughs> I feel so bad for Cliff. Hey. <laughs> okay. She's, she's gonna change her mind. Will pay your debt to HHM and make you a partner in two years, correct? Apparently. Would you entertain a better offer? From whom? HHM? From me. I'll make you partner tomorrow. Wexler McGill, partners at law. You and me, together. You'll have a clean slate, sky's the limit. What about clients? Mesa Verde thing. just signed with you, didn't they? It'll be a hard sell to take them with me. So then there will be another Mesa Verde. That was all you, Kim. You did it once, you can do it again. True. You make it sound easy. But it's a bad idea. We'll have a practice that is 100% ours. That's worth it. That's true. When we fail, that's and we really end up with nothing. nothing. You deserve more than just a lateral move. Bottom line, that's what Schweikert represents. He's just Howard Hamlin by a different name. She's gonna decide on. If we're gonna be law partners, I need to know one thing. Are you gonna play it straight? Or are you gonna be colorful? The ring. Oh my God. There's no point in me doing this if I can't be myself. Every time I try to do things someone else's way, it blows up in my face. That's what happened at Davis and Maine. What do you say? No. Why do you need me for this? I don't need you. I want you. You've got me. Yeah, Just together is not, not, yep. But she can still support him in doing it on his own. That's, like, better, you know? I don't blame her at all. I know. 
They're leaving the playhouse. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Kaylee will go crazy for that. Damn, that's nice. Cute. We gotta get her out of there. I know, right? Do you like it? If you're happy, I'm happy. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. It's a lot of money. I know, I'm like a broken record, but it is. Hey, you don't worry about She's that. Doing that. Make again. it happen, whatever the cost. Mike. Hey, I'm serious. Not another thought. How are we looking? Oh, it's perfect. Let's do it. Fantastic. There. That thing looks heavy, though. Ew. What do you think? It like the door barely clearance, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, um... Yeah. Cucumber water for the road? Oh. I'm totally set. Thank you. Gotta get home to my kids. How about you? What are you gonna do now? Onward and upward. Thanks, Omar. Oh, I'm Drive gonna miss safe. Omar. <laughs> Hi, you've reached the law offices of Jimmy McGill. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. He gave up on the secretary. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted something else. What did you want? More. I feel safe to say that you can expect to hear from us by tomorrow at the latest. That's. Fantastic. I look forward to it. Howard. It's Rich, actually. Oh my god, I'm so no, sorry. No, no, no. I'm happy to be confused with Howard. He's a damn good looking man. Why is it that I can feel the stress? I can feel, <laughs> you know, that crossroads. Yeah. Is she getting the idea? I think she's getting. Like starting her own thing. Should be getting their offer tomorrow. That's fantastic. I'm really happy for you. Thanks. I'm not taking the job. Why not? You were right. It's time for me to be my own boss. Solo practice. Wow, it's great. Good. To that end, I have a pitch for you. Not Wexler McGill, but Wexler and McGill. I am Kim Wexler, attorney at law, and you are Jimmy McGill, attorney at law. Both free to practice as we see fit. Separate firms under one roof. We're both headed uptown, so why can't we share a taxi? You do things your way, and I do them mine. We'll have freedom, but we aren't each trying to go it alone. Say yes. Oh, Damn it, they, they left, left us there. there. <laughs> yes. Yes, what? You like that idea, huh? Yes. It's a way better idea than his. Because she definitely does not want to be associated with whatever he ends his up colorful with. ways. <laughs> whatever he ends up doing, right? Exactly. I really... I really enjoyed th this whole episode. Every single time that someone proposed something, the way they propose it, I'm like, yes! And then someone else <laughs> says something else, and I'm like, oh, I like that one better. And then yeah. keep... I like most it. of them except for Jimmy's idea. His was sweet. His, yeah, his was sweet. He wants to be with her, also work with her. He believes in her, but her main issue this whole time has been the way he works. Yeah. And it's not going to work if you're bumping heads. Yep, exactly. I was so excited for her in her interview. Me too. I got a little nervous. She called him Hamlin. Howard. Oh, How Howard. And I thought for a second there that like she was going to take that as a sign to, you know, maybe she's st still thinking about Hamlin, Hamlin, and Miguel. Mm -hmm. But I like where she's going with this. And I, I'm assuming Jimmy is on board. She looked a little hesitant. Mm -hmm. But overall, I think her leaving... Um, Hamlin, Hamlin, and Miguel. He sees that as a positive. Mm -hmm. Overall, he wants her out of there because they don't appreciate her. Yeah, and I, I want, I want to see her be her own boss mm -hmm. and just kind of see how she like navigates that. Um, especially because they have two, they they have two very different styles. Yeah, they do. Um, so it'll be interesting to see her get her own clients. Yeah, she's Kim Possible now. <laughs> right? <laughs> Call me, beat me if you, you want to reach me. You know what I want to see? 
I want to see when she quits. Yeah, me too. I want to see Howard's face. If she does end up quitting. Like, oh, no. Don't even <laughs> put that in my head. Yes. I want her to quit. With this show so far? Anything could happen. Anything could happen. I'm so happy with what she offered him. Mm -hmm. Because that part of me, when you hear people like working together or like relying on each other makes me so nervous mm -hmm. yep. especially knowing that jimmy like at that moment when jimmy said like he wasn't going to be colorful mm -hmm. i was like oh no oh no kim run right, right? yeah but then <laughs> and then he was yeah, like no, i need to be authentic honest. and um and i just i like that idea a lot better um yeah, share better. the costs separate practices mm -hmm. And it sounds great. Yeah. It's good that he ended up being honest for once. Mm -hmm. um, especially after looking at the ring. Usually, like, looking at the ring would mean, like, he's going to do something. But it's like, he doesn't tell people when he's going to do something. Yeah. And this time, he was actually honest with her. And it's actually what kind of made her make up her mind in the end, I feel like, right? Yeah. He was willing to be honest. Mm -hmm. Um... Before I forget, the scene in the beginning with the Jimmy the as a kid, store? yeah, yeah, or yeah, it was a corner store, right? Or was it just the the shop? It was a corner store. Okay. To me, it gave us a few things to think about. One, Jimmy was still Jimmy even that far back, and he was trying to save his dad from being a fool <laughs> and his dad went for it anyway and that's why he ended up taking the money from the cash register anyway he's like well i'll try to save you now i'm gonna keep the money because you didn't learn but it also tells me what if chuck's story was not 100 percent true about jimmy taking the fourteen thousand dollars yeah because what if the dad was always that, being fooled. yeah always being fooled or too nice and ended up doing something with the money and just didn't say anything to Chuck. And Chuck was just assuming that it was Jimmy. Yeah. I mean, there's still a possibility that it could have been Jimmy. Mm -hmm. I think it was a combination of everything. I think Chuck completely blamed Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Truth is, it was a little bit of both. The dad was, you know, very generous. Um, seeing him, because he, even, even the dad himself looked like he wasn't fully sure of what to do. Yep. And when Jimmy told him, like, um, no, this guy's conning you, you know, he, he I ha just had a feeling he was going to say that thing of that line of what if you're but wrong, what if you're wrong, like, yeah. you know, just giving people the benefit of the doubt, benefit of the doubt and just trying to spread some good, I guess, in mm -hmm. the world. Um, it seems like that's what the dad was. He was a good person. Yeah. Chuck said it. Yeah. He was like too good. Yeah. And so that probably explains a lot of the money issues that could have happened. But Jimmy himself also did not help. Yep, exactly. The guy decided to, because even though he, the dad gave him 10, the guy still chose to purchase. Yep. Paid. And Jimmy took the money from the purchase. So dad lost extra money besides what he just gave the guy. Yeah, he well, lost yeah, the money, he lost and, the the money and the product, and there's no money yep. for the product. Yeah. Yeah, right. I think it is like a little bit of both. Huh. Do you think that moment was because of what the guy said? Um, you're either a wolf or a sheep. You think, like, at least in that moment, it wasn't really about, for Jimmy, it wasn't really about anything related to his dad in the business. It was just trying to say, like, well, I'm not a sheep like i'm a wolf possibly for mike's situation i feel like the daughter-in-law um daughter-in-law i said that kind of weird is still probably using him um mm -hmm. but yeah of course you obviously do care about your daughter you do want to live in a better neighborhood mm -hmm. and you know that he's trying to help and I think she, in a way, is legitimately, like, asking for help. 
because of everything she went through. She could be hallucinating, but at the same time, the way she says things mm -hmm. still makes me think like she's really using him. Like, mm -hmm. oh, he's not going to say no. So let me let me just throw, kind of walk around it and not really say it, mm -hmm. but I'm going to get him to get me this house. Mm -hmm. To me, that's what it's felt like this whole time. This episode, I just kind of accepted that I don't like the way she asks for things. Yeah, same. Um, but like we've said, Mike, Mike knows he knows what's up. Yeah, Mike's not like a fool. I'm sure to some extent. I don't know what his feelings are for the daughter-in-law, but regardless of however she's handling the situation, it all comes down to that it's for the granddaughter. Yeah, so exactly. like he's just like, yeah, you, you know, I love you guys like family. Um, you are my son's wife, but you're mainly the mother of my granddaughter. So, like, regardless of how she's doing it, he's going to yeah. agree. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, I don't know. I'm just, like, I'm not going to let it get to me. But, yeah, <laughs> the way she asks for things is just really strange. Um, but I am relieved. I'm happy that they found a house. It's cute. Yep. It's, yeah, it's really, it's nice. really nice. Especially for um, granddaughter. Yeah. For Kaylee, yep. the little play structure outside, that little, like, I think it was, like, the living room area looked really nice. Yeah. The area's safe. She seems happy. The yep. Yeah, you the, could tell, like, when she showed her happiness, like, when he agreed to it, like, you could tell she was, like, legitimately happy. Yeah. That did like, not seem like a fake reaction. It's worth it, all yeah. of this. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember if that's the house they end up in? Or no, it's I not? do not. I don't know. I don't oh, remember. you don't remember? Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. Mike, interesting that Mike agreed to say that the gun was his, but when it actually came down to go down there and retract his statement, he didn't say that it was his. Yeah. Did that work? I don't know. They didn't agree to whatever it was. I mean, I guess you could always argue that like, he can say that he went over there and said what they said and they just didn't believe him. You can argue, you know, you can say that. Mm -hmm. But... Mike is kind of like a man of his word. Mm -hmm. So I did find interesting that he didn't go with what he said he was going to agree to. Yeah. And I don't think it was Jimmy's idea right. either because Mike, won't, do Mike won't. Yeah. Mike will be just even if Jimmy were to say that to the um, police, Mike would have been like, no, it was my gun. Yeah. So yeah. definitely Mike played a role in that decision. Mm -hmm. Um but I'm, I don't know why. You're right. Yeah. And he's keeping an eye on Nacho. Or at least where they hang out. Or where I don't think it was Nacho. He's just keeping an eye on, like, the family, I think. It's probably a fear of backlash. You think? You, you think? Mm. I think, not fear, but I do think that he knows that probably things are not going to go in the direction that Hector assumed. Oh, right. So he's keeping his eye on them. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I mean, he's a smart guy, so yeah. he watches, like, every... Corner, I guess. Isn't he lucky that he just is free to sleep in his car if he feels like it? Yeah. Like, if he wants to spend his whole life just watching people, he can just do that. Yeah, and eat lucky, sandwiches. Lucky, though. Well, you get what I mean? Like, <laughs> he has the freedom to do that if that's what he wants. Yeah. He has nothing to worry about but his granddaughter. So Yeah, and she's being taken care of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're okay. Right. But yeah, that's all I have for this episode. It was a great episode. Like all the other episodes so far. I don't know. It's been a great show so far. Absolutely. Jimmy's outfits. His outfits were hilarious. Mm -hmm. Inflatable outfit. Inspiration. Character thing. That was like his inspiration, <laughs> right? That was so weird. <laughs> I misinterpreted that. That whole scene. That whole scene. Yeah, I was like, oh, so he sees himself as an inflatable, inflatable? tube man. What is it? Inflatable something movie. What is it? Something man. I don't remember. This Family Guy commercial popped up in my head. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, yeah. <laughs> but no, it was the opposite. He saw it as inspiration, which was like pretty funny. And some of those suits actually didn't look bad. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's I think I all right. Mm -hmm. Well, if you have anything to add about this episode, drop it down in the comments. But make sure no spoilers. Um, anything related to this episode or before it, um, just drop it down in case we missed it. And make sure you keep supporting our channel by liking our videos, subscribing to our channel, turning on the notifications, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>